Hi everyone, welcome to the second part of this crochet spider web blouse. In the first part, I showed you how we are going to make the spider web pattern. Uh, you should make two pieces uh, in the same uh, spider web round pattern, dear friends. One for the back side, the other for the front side. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we are going to join them to each other like this. And we are going to make the sleeves at both sides and we are finishing the blouse. Okay, dear friends, I'm going to teach you everything step by step. Please remember to subscribe my YouTube channel, activate the info bell, and please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos for my future video tutorials. Thank you so much. Let's go on how to make this. I finished the square, web square, I mean. It is two parts. As I told you, I finished the first part before making this video and I finished the second part with you. It is finished. I told you I will repeat this corner part three times. I mean this part. But later on, um, I tried it on me and it was narrow for me. For this reason, I made one row more like this. One row more. Four times I repeated this corner here look this is the center this is one time corner this is second time corner this is third time I told you third time can be enough but I tried it on me it's not enough for this reason I made one time more and when finishing one corner row for the fourth time once again I made one row more with eight uh, chains at each time but uh, I didn't make corner I mean let me show you this is the four time corner I finished it here it is finishing here later on one row more I finished eight chains all around only eight chains one row more and it is finished later on I put them uh, on top of another and I so uh, roughly with single stitches with different color because uh, I made this only trying on me. I'm showing this to you how I tried this on me. Uh, I cannot uh, decide if it is okay for me or not before I tried it on me. For this reason, in a different color of yarn, I um, sew up by single stitches roughly. These are shoulders for... Uh, two spaces for shoulders one two three four five six seven space i am leaving and i am um, sewing two spaces more these are two parts you know later on this is uh, the side how i sew up the side this is the corner one corner this is the second corner like this I am starting from one corner, top of the one corner, one, two, three, four, five, six, six uh, spaces I sew up and then um, I left one, two, three, four, five spaces for the armpit and I made the same thing for the others. This is one side, it's been like this, this is one side here. The other side here I started from the corner top let me show you here like this I started one two three four five uh, spaces I made and one two three four five space I uh, left for the armpit and two spaces for the shoulders like this I tried it on me I could wear it uh, like this and it is okay for me you will adjust it according to your size dear friends maybe three times a corner pattern repeating is enough for you if your size is 36 37 if your size is 42 44 this time uh, four times of corner pattern repeating would be enough for you that's completely depends on uh, your size like this meanwhile here in this side i made one two three four five six spaces with stitches but on the other side i made one two three four five 
uh, this is a mistake it should be also six no problem anyhow uh, i made this as just try it on me since this size uh, is okay for me i will remove these stitches dear friends yes i am removing this stitch because i don't need this anymore this was just trying on me if it is okay or not but if you want uh, you can put uh, stitch markers in order to remark the connecting places this kind of stitch markers you can use if you don't have this kind of stitch markers you can uh, tie it with uh, different colors of yarn for this reason this this one this is the corner part you know this is I am putting the stitch marker on top of this one and also on top of the other if you like you can determine the joining places with this this is the starting of side of joining place I just want to show you you can do it like this I am removing this uh, side should be one side six one two three four five six here I am going to put another stitch marker this is one side the other side will be also like this okay now you are not going to forget the connecting joining places of the side this part is for armpit one two three four five spaces for armpit I am also removing uh, this shoulder places I am putting a stitch marker on both sides here like this okay removing the stitch for shoulders two spaces are enough I am putting another stitch marker like this that means we are going to join these two spaces as shoulder like this we are removing the stitches for the other uh, shoulder and also for the other side and since I am finished uh, by repeating uh, the pattern the corners four times uh, I am finished with the yarn for this reason now I am cutting the yarns till I decide if this size uh, is enough for me I didn't cut the yarn but four times corner part repeating it is okay for me making one chain and now I am cutting the yarn okay I am also cutting the yarn for the other part there will be two parts for this dear friends I made one chain I am making one more chain to fix the yarn well cutting okay that's all yes dear friends now we are ready to join completely we remarked with stitch markers we will now join for joining the two parts I put them uh, one top of another this is one part this is the second part and these are front part this is the front part and also one moment let me show you this is the front part of the second part the back parts look each other in the front back part back part like this these are front parts we will start like this and this is uh, the belly side we will start let me show you this is the fourth corner pattern in the middle of this we will start like this also this side it's coming like this this is the middle okay we are going to make uh, one side firstly 
I am removing the stitch marker in the corner top. First of all, I am making a knot. Slip knot. Okay, I am taking my parts. This is the last corner of the front part. This is the last corner of the other part. I am inserting my hook at top of this one here. Let me show you. I will start here. Inserting my hook. And this is the corner of the other part. This is the top. Inserting my hook in there as well. And I am connecting these two parts for a moment. Okay, now I am going to make nine chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. After making nine chains, I'm making two times yarn over. I am going to the triple crochet of the back part here. Now I am going to the triple crochet of the first part and making a triple crochet in here like this. I made the triple crochet on the part below this one, below this one. Now I am removing the hook from the loop. I am going to the other part inserting my hook in the following triple crochet of the part on top taking the loop on the hook now I will make pull through like this now I am making nine shades one two three four five six seven eight nine two times yarn over. I am going to the part here and making a triple crochet. Removing the hook from the loop. Now I am going to the following triple crochet of the uh, part on top. Okay, taking the loop on the hook, pull through. Now making nine chains again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me show you what we are doing. This is the part below. This is the part on top. We are joining them. It's been like this, dear friends. After making nine chains, two times yarn over, I am taking the below part, going to the following triple crochet and making a triple crochet on this. Okay. Removing the hook from the loop. Now I am taking the part on top, inserting my hook and the uh, following triple crochet of that part taking the loop on the hook and pull through. Nine chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two times yarn over. I am going to the following triple crochet of the below part, making a triple crochet, taking the loop from the hook, now I am taking the part on top, inserting my hook in the following triple crochet of that part, like this. Now I am taking the loop on the hook. I will make pull through. Nine chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Two times yarn over. I am taking the below part, inserting my hook in the following triple crochet 
and making a triple crochet on the below part. Removing the loop from the hook, I'm leaving the below part, taking the top part on me, inserting my hook in the following triple crochet. I'm in here, taking the loop on my hook, I will make pull through like this. Now nine chains, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Two times yarn over. Going to the following uh, triple crochet of the below part and making a triple crochet on this, like this. Removing the loop from the hook. I am leaving the below part, now taking the part on top inserting my hook I'm taking the loop on the hook I will make pull through now nine chains one two three four five six seven eight and nine two times yarn over going to the following triple crochet of the below part M meanwhile I am removing this stitch marker this is the part below okay I am inserting my hook in here making a triple crochet and removing the hook from this loop I am leaving this part below I am taking the part the other inserting my hook like this and pull through okay let's look how many uh, spaces we made we joined the joining places become like this here this places these places that we connect I am going to count how many spaces one two three four five six seven yes um firstly I made I told you uh, six places but six will also be large for the arm space for arm space I am going to leave one two three four spaces later on I wore it I will see if it is okay or not um, I made seven spaces I joined seven spaces like this okay now I made one chain and cutting okay just cutting this side one side finished dear friends we joined one side here you see this place this is this is this is let's count one two three four five six seven spaces we joined this is arm armpit space arm these are this is one two three four four spaces i am leaving for arm um, you can leave a four or five that's completely depends now uh, I came to the top of the other corner here I am going to make uh, the shoulder here these two spaces I am leaving for the shoulder this is okay I am going to explain you how you are going to make it for shoulders as well for joining the shoulder I am taking my yarn in my hand and first of all I am making a slip knot one moment like this okay now I am taking my parts I am removing this stitch marker first of all I will join these two parts here and below part like this okay firstly one moment like this these are the corner tops and I joined them now I am making nine chains one two three four five six seven eight nine 
two times yarn over. Meanwhile, I am removing the other part because it's only two space for shoulder. I am taking the part below and making a triple crochet like this. Removing the loop from removing the hook from the loop, leaving the below part, taking the part uh, in my hand, inserting my hook in the following triple crochet. Okay, now I am taking the loop on the hook, pull through nine chains one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two times yarn over. Now I am taking the below part, inserting my hook in the following triple crochet and making a triple crochet in here. Removing the hook from the loop, leaving this part, this part below, taking the part on top, going to the following triple crochet of the top part, taking the loop on the hook, pull through. Let me look, yes, two spaces we joined for the shoulder, this one and this one. Now I am making two chains, one, two, and cutting the yarn. Yes, dear friends, I showed you how you are going to join the side and also the shoulder. This is the side joined seven spaces this is armpit space we are going to make arm here and we came to the shoulder we joined two spaces in the shoulder now you can go on yourself the others because it is the same now for the uh, head for the next size one two three four five six seven spaces i am leaving for the head for the neck i mean uh, the following two spaces i am making a uh, show i am joining for the shoulders it is also as you see i am following hope finding the corner and the below part i am going to the up like this finding the uh, corner top joining them to each other i will join these two spaces of course, I'm uh, making this for size 42, 44 uh, or 40, but if your size is 36, 38, of course, you are going to make smaller and the quantity of these spaces is uh, going to change. But I'm just um, trying to explain you the mentality, the system. You are going to make the same system for your size. For example, if your size is 46, of course it will be uh, change it no problem 40 42 44 um, this uh, quantity this size are okay yes dear friends in the same way i showed you you are going to join the other uh, two spaces of shoulder and you are going to leave uh, four spaces for armpit one two three four here this is wrong one moment it's going to be four space for armpit. Yes. Yes. One, two, three, four space for armpit. And you are going to join the other size. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven space. You are joining. And the joining will be totally finished. Like this, we are going to finish uh, joining the two parts. To each other later on I'm going to show you how we are going to make the sleeves I finished joining all the parts I put a stitch marker on the next side and I put another two stitch marker on the armpit in order not to um, forget the places now I am going to show you how we are going to make the sleeves in order to start making the sleeves first of all I am making a slip knot Yes, like this. This place is arm space. One, two, three, four spaces. This is for arm. This is the below side. This is the shoulder side. 
I am taking the below sight in my hand and inserting my hook in these two parts joined to each other right here in the place the two parts join to each other and one moment making a single stitch now making 11 chains 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 two times yarn over look I am going to the following triple crochet inserting my hook in there and making a triple crochet in here making eight chains one two three four five six seven eight two times yarn over going to the following triple crochet inserting my hook in there and making a triple crochet making eight chains one two three four five six seven eight only when starting we are making 12 chains uh, the others making eight chains it is the same when we make the spider circle two times yarn over going to the following triple crochet and making a new triple crochet on top of this one yes like this we are coming to the shoulder. I will tell you how we are going to shoulder for this reason, making eight chains, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two times yarn over. Look, the place here, that two parts join to each other, inserting my hook in there and making a triple crochet. like this now making eight chains one two three four five six seven eight two times yarn over i am going to the following triple crochet inserting my hook in there and making a new triple crochet like this all around we are coming to the end yes i came to the end all around i made I made eight chains. After making eight chains, I'm inserting my hook on the fourth chain of this uh, 12 chains. You will remember when starting we made 12 chains and I'm finding the fourth chain. One, two, three, four. This is here. I'm in one moment. Yes. I'm inserting my hook in the fourth chain. Yarn over, pull through, making a slip stitch. Like this, we finished the first row. Now, again, I'm making uh, 12 chains for the second row of the sleeve one two chains i made three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve two times yarn over going to the following triple crochet and making a triple crochet eight chains one two three four five six seven eight two times yarn over going to the following triple crochet and making a triple crochet it's going on like this dear friends we, in the, we are in the second row of the sleeve like this i am making eight chains one two three four five six seven eight two times yarn over i'm going to the following triple crochet making a triple crochet on top of this one and like this we are finishing this round as well i came to the end of the second row i made eight chains i'm inserting my hook on the fourth chain one two three four yarn over pull through one moment once again i will try inserting my hook on the fourth chain yarn over pull through making a slip stitch this row second row is finished completely i am making 12 chains one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve two times yarn over i'm going to the following triple crochet inserting my hook in there and making a triple crochet like this.
this. Yes, dear friends, it's going on like this. One moment, once again, I will show. Now I am going to make eight chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two times yarn over, going to the following triple crochet, inserting my hook in there, making a new triple crochet. Like this, we are completing this row by making eight chains and inserting our hook in each following stitch and making a new triple crochet. Yes, the um, sleeve pattern is like this. It's going on like this, dear friends. The length of the sleeves are completely depends on you. If you want this as a t-shirt form, of course, you are going to make it shorter. But if you want, want it uh, longer, you are going to make it longer. That's completely depends. I'm going to make it according to the size of my arm. And later on, I'm going to tell you how many rounds I made. Now you are going to go on crocheting uh, the sleeve part according to the length of your side. When you finish this, you are making the other sleeve and like this, we are finishing this crochet uh, spider web blouse, dear friends. Yes, dear friends, at last I finished my spider web uh, top. It's been really beautiful. Let me show you closely like this. I really liked it. Look. These are the sleeves. This is the other sleeve. Yes, dears, it is completely finished as I showed you a minute ago. I just want to show you some points. In the previous minutes of the video, I told you I would leave four spaces for the armpit, I mean here. But later on, I tried it on me and it was a bit narrow for this reason. I left five spaces, I mean for the arm for the arm here, for the sleeves, one, two, three, four, five space I left. It is better for me, of course it is for my size, maybe four space is okay for you, that's all. And for the sleeves, I crochet 29 rows for the sleeves, 29 rows I crocheted. Of course, again, it is according to the size of my arm. Maybe you will make it shorter, longer, I don't know. And I explained to you how to make, how to crochet one sleeve. I also finished the other sleeve in the same mentality, in the same technique. That's all. For this reason, in this video, I'm not showing you how you are going to make the second sleeve because it is completely the same uh, with the other. That's all, dear friends. Yes, dears, we came to the end of another project with you. Hope you like this project. Hope you are going to make this beautiful crochet spider web blouse. You can wear this during Halloween time. Also in normal time, you can wear, you can wear this uh, in summer. You can use it as a beach cover. Anything you can imagine, you can wear it. It is very useful project. I will go on sharing this kind of video tutorials, dears. I will be happy if you subscribe my YouTube channel, activate the info bell, and please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos for my future video tutorials. Thank you so much. See you in the coming videos.